what's going on theory wise so here we go my attempt to run through rocket mass heaters and what they do there are two types of stove that I've noticed there's an L and a J tube and here we have my representation of the L and the J tube they both work on the same principle that of the relative density of gases and the gases behavior due to its density so in the L shape the red is the fire and the J shape similarly the red is the fire um, density of gases works on the principle which is below here that I've tried to draw out for you to understand cold air gas is dense and heavy it then falls hot air gas expands and becomes lighter it then rises so there's 21 little dots there to represent small ones and 21 dots to represent big ones i.e. hotter ones and as you can see they take up a different volume so if you imagine that's a cubic foot or a cubic meter doesn't matter which then when you expand the gas by heating it it becomes bigger now that's the principle that's used here we'll just look at the L-shaped because the theory is exactly the same the gas at this level which is basically ground level and outside the heater is is cold and it's very dense when you start a fire the fire heats the gases the oxygen that's coming into contact with the flame and the flame expands the gas now when it expands the gas in this pipe which is a steel pipe and usually surrounded by um, insulation that heats the inside steel and the steel gets very very hot so there's a temperature differential between this side and the outside now that temperature temperature differential causes the gas to expand even more and in effect it produces its own push of cold air any cold air that might be in the tube gets exhausted out and it sucks cold air into the fire that then heats gets expanded and that then throws itself literally throws itself out and up the tube out, up and out the flue exactly the same thing happens in this one um, the actual J tube this part um, is merely looks like it's there for convenience because you can stick fuel down this and then the fuel burns at the bottom and the the sticks the longer sticks that you put in here um, fall into the fire continually due to gravity but the principle is the same coal there here is being heated by there by the fire and that's then going that way and sucking more cold air in as hot air rises and exhausts now the next stage is thermal mass heating um, this is how you make use of the actual theory that we've just seen over there now starting off the original fireplace which is this is a schematic of is an open fire with a chimney that goes straight up and out and as it's marked here hot gases escape quickly straight up the flue it's a very inefficient way of heating any space because the only heat that you're actually using is the radiant heat off the fire you still have exactly the same thing going on as over here with the expansion of cold air um, in the fire 
going on in, in the open fireplace. But cold air is being sucked into the fire the whole time. So the only benefit you're having from the burning of fuel in that fireplace is the radiant heat that comes off it. Um, we will we will talk further about radiant heat in a moment. So very inefficient this kind of fire. Slightly more efficient is if you take a fire, in this case it's the L that I've drawn in here, and then you take a flue from the top of that, directly from the top of that, and then lead it in as large a coil as you possibly can. I mean, it comes, the flue comes in coils, so you can use a whole coil that can be 10 meters long in a room, and then you take it out as the exhaust. Then the heat in the tube, the heat that's being given off by the exhaust gases, will heat the tube, which heats the air. And as it's written here, it says, delaying hot gas escape by using a long coil flue heats the air in a room using the air as a thermal mass. Now, that's more efficient than the original, but it's still not very efficient. It cools down very, very quickly, um, and therefore it's only really worth having for as long as you have a fire going. Um, yes, it will retain a little heat, but after a fire's gone out, but that will be given off to the air very quickly. The rocket mass heater um, works on uh, exactly the same principle, only they catch the heat in the flue and keep it. Um, there's your J tube with its fire. The J tube goes up into a barrel, steel barrel. It's insulated to give you very, very, very good heat retention in the steel tube. The steel tube gets extremely hot. And then the gases come down over the top, they cool quickly, and they fall. And they fall into a collector, which is the flue, which is then buried in a mass of earth or some such stones, cob, there are many different things you can use. Anything that you can surround this flue with, with a, a suitable thickness, let's say a couple of feet by a couple of feet, um, producing the, the classic bench of the um, thermal mass heaters, the flue will give its heat off and into that medium. That medium then holds the heat for a very long time, um, as you can see hot exhaust gases passing through the flue transfer heat to the thermal mass which acts as a store and slow release radiator. That's the most efficient use that we can get out of, easily get out of a wood fire say. Um, if you want to collect a bit more heat and be a bit more efficient, I've put a note here, more heat can be kept if there's a hot water jacket on the barrel itself, which means if you wrapped a, a copper coil around this barrel and then led water into it and out of it, of course, then that will, that heat, the radiant heat of the barrel, which is the same as the radiant heat from the fire, the radiant heat of the barrel will heat the water and then you have yet another thermal mass which is being heated. That's the basic principle. I'll just back off so that the whole thing is on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's the basic principle and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now all it takes is for us to work up a proper made up system of a thermal mass heater to heat the house. Thank you very much.